A quiz that NFL casuals can't pass. I'm most likely flunking out, but I'm gonna go anyway. Play the quiz in the first, dude. There is no way Barry Sanders played for any team other than the Detroit Lions. So it's telling me, based on these little squares, it's telling me how many teams they played for. Now, Emmitt Smith was a cowboy almost his entire career. And the fact that people try to tell me that Emmitt Smith is better than Barry Sanders is hilarious, number one. Number two, he ended his career with the Cardinals, which kind of sucked because he was dog shit on the Cardinals. Why are you always picking on me? What did I do to you? Jerry Rice had three teams. Okay. He definitely, definitely, definitely was a 49er. He definitely was a Raider. Oh, he played for one. Who else? Who the fuck else did Jerry Rice play for? Why do I feel like Jerry Rice was a Seahawk? I'm going to click Seahawks. Oh my God, he was. Yes. Brett Favre's the exact guy I was talking about, bro. So Brett Favre ended his career with the Jets and he sucked ass, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go Jets for sure. He was definitely a Viking at one point. He was obviously a Packer. I am fumbling the bag on his fourth team though. Who is the fourth team that Brett Favre played for? Who is the fourth team that Brett Favre played for? I'm going to guess Falcons. Oh my God. Am I actually 10 of 10? That is a straight up guess. It's kind of nice though, because this is multiple choice in a sense, since they give you the only options for the teams. Otherwise, I don't think I would have got that. Primetime had five teams, which is crazy. He was chasing the bag. 49ers, Cowboys for sure. Uh, yikes. Yikes. I think he was a Raven. He was... I think he was a Falcon. He was. He has one more team. What? He wasn't a bear. He definitely wasn't a bear. He wasn't a brown. He might have been a buccaneer. He was not a cardinal or a charger. Was he an eagle? A jet? Packers, Panthers, Patriots, Ravens, Vikings. Dude, I think it's Washington. I think it is Washington. Oh, fuck. Now I'm fucked. Jim McMahon. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't even know who that is. Join the club. I am truly a casual. I have no idea who Jim McMahon is. So now we just got to guess. Okay, so if I don't know who he is, I got to assume he plays for teams that I don't care about. That's my thought. So I'll start with the Browns. Shit. I'll try the Bears next. Bingo. Jim McMahon played for the Bears and the Panthers. Shit. Uh, The Patriots. Fuck. Cardinals. Chargers. Okay. Vinny Testaverde. Well, wait a minute. Vinny himself has got literally eight teams and there's only 10 left. So you ju I just, I got a decent shot here. Cowboys, Panthers, Patriots, Ravens, Jets. Shit. Oh, did I run out of time? Oh no, I ran out of guesses. Hey, 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 hey. I got 82%. The average score was 73%. And I was literally there at the end. I was pretty much just guessing, so... Dude, I cannot believe that Primetime played for five teams. That's so crazy to me. I can't believe he played for Washington. He was chasing the bag, though. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah. Yo, the most played NFL quarterback quiz is right here. Can you pick the NFL quarterback that meets each reducing set of criteria? My answer is maybe. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. Okay, wait a minute. So this is a retired NFL quarterback with over 27,000 passing yards. He played in one conference championship game, won the NFL MVP more than once, never played in the NFC East, did not play in the 70s, has at least one ring. Oh God. Oh God, this is truly a casuals quiz. I think this is, is this Brett Favre? All right, I'm one for one. I'm one for one, I'm one for one. Great start. Now our next player, is all of those top things, except they never played in the NFC East. Ugh. The NFC East doesn't really help me that much, though. Dude, I don't know a thing about some of these guys, bro. Dan Fouts, Dave... Cr Dude, I don't know a single thing about either of these two. Archie Manning, I know, is Peyton and Eli's dad. Drew Bledsoe, he's got a Madden card. Warren Moon... Ah, shit. Oh, this is really going to expose me, isn't it? I'm just going to go with... Well, our player also did not play in the 70s. So I think it's kind of the younger guys right now still. So this could be Elway. <laughs> Woo! One in 10 guess twice. Let's go. Okay, so now our player still is a young player. Did not play relatively young player. I'm going to go with Bledsoe. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Okay, now, now it's older players, though. Owns at least one Super Bowl ring. Unitas, am I getting these actually correct in a row? Or, am, or can you just get it right? Can there be multiple criteria that are correct? Shit. 
Oh, but the minute you get one wrong, it's wrong. Wait, let me try this again. Could I do LA first? Oh, shit. No, I actually got that correct in order. So Brett Favre, LA, Bledsoe, Unitas. And now our quarterback went to at least one Super Bowl through 250, 200 more interceptions, played at least one. Oh, God. I don't. I'll, I'll go Archie now. Shit. Now I just want to get it right. It's not Moon or Archie. Let's go. Let's go Stabler. It's not Stabler. Holy shit. Favre, Elway, Bledsoe, Unitas, Fouts. Shit. All right. My luck ran out. Favre, Elway, Bledsoe, Unitas, Krieg. Who am I missing? Did it? Was it Fran Tarkenton? You're dead. Yeah. You know why I know Fran Tarkenton? People always put up his, his highlights on like NFL throwback. They say he was Mahomes before Mahomes was Mahomes. So basically Mahomes modeled his game after the GOAT Fran. Okay, next one, I'll go Warren Moon. Oh my God, this is gonna make me so pissed off. We'll go Stabler. Shit. Favre, Elway, Bledsoe, Unitas, Tarkenton, Archie. Fuck. It's one of our, it's one of the boys I don't know. Unitas, it's Fouts. Hey, we got Dan Fouts. Through 200 more interceptions, his career, Warren Moon. Fuck. I gave up on the QB one. I had no shot, but I got the same thing, but for running backs. I think I have a chance here. The first correct answer, all of these are true. Played college ball in the deep south. Rookie season was 1970 or later. 100 plus career rushing touchdowns, and they won a conference championship ring. So I don't think this can be Barry. I don't think Barry ever won a conference championship ring. So Barry's out. I don't think Chris Johnson has 100 plus career rushing touchdowns. I'm trying to remember their rookie seasons though. I don't think it's Jim Brown because Jim Brown played earlier than 1970, I think. I don't know much about Dorsett. <sighs> I kind of think this is Terrell Davis or Walter Payton. Never mind. So who's the first one? Hey, okay, so it was Walter Payton. All right, it was Terrell Davis and Walter Payton. It was Walter Payton. I didn't know where either of them played in college. So now this would be Terrell Davis, I think. That or it's Earl Campbell, maybe. Shit. This, uh, this one's gonna be hard. I'm gonna look like a casual. So Walter Payton's first. Rookie season was 70 or later, 100 plus career rushing touchdowns. I feel like that could be Eric Dickerson. Okay, so Walter Payton. Rookie season was 1970 or later, 100 plus career rushing touchdowns. I kind of thought Marcus... Allen was older than this, but it could be Marcus Allen. It is Marcus Allen. Okay, we've got two. Now it's 100 plus crew rushing touchdowns, but 1970 or later is out. So it could be a really old player. This could be Jim Brown. It is Jim Brown. Won a conference championship ring, played for two or fewer NFL teams. So it can't be Barry. Led his conference in rushing yards in at least one season. Never played for the AFC Central. What the fuck is the AFC Central? Does it just mean the AFC? Yo, that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm truly a casual because I only know the AFC is AFC south east north and west i need to google that is this cheating it's the afc north the afc north is also called the afc central i have never heard that okay so our player never played for the afc north are any of these players play for the nfc north or the afc north i don't remember any of them playing for the afc north who won a conference championship ring i think terrell davis and eric dickerson did i'm gonna go terrell davis shit shit this is hard so walter payton marcus allen jim brown then dickerson nope okay i know i've really been fumbling walter payton marcus allen jim brown tiki barber no wow that's a bad day <laughs> This is just a shank fest. It's Tony Dorsett. I don't know much about Tony Dorsett. Now it actually could be Barry because played for two or fewer NFL teams. Barry only played for one. He definitely led his conference in rushing yards. He never played for the NFC North. <sighs> Did Barry ever play in a conference championship game, though? I don't think they did. I don't think they ever even made it, but I'm going to try Barry anyway. Oh, my gosh, so it was Barry. Okay, so they they played in one. They just lost it. I actually didn't know that. Now, our next player has played for multiple teams. Most of these guys have played for multiple teams. Let his conference in rushing. I feel like Terrell Davis did that. Wow, I'm just... Terrell Davis is throwing me for a loop here. Peyton, Allen, Jim Brown, Dorsett, Barry. Next one. Let's try Dickerson. It is. It's Eric Dickerson. Now never played for the AFC North. Ah, is that Terrell Davis? Dude, I just see Terrell Davis as a Denver Bronco, and that's it. I have to stop guessing Terrell Davis. I have to. Terrell Davis is a cucky. Eric Dickerson. Let's go Tiki Barber. Tiki Barber, baby. Played at least one conference championship. Game. Okay, that's Terrell Davis. Fair. Earl Campbell. Now it's Terrell. Fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Dorsett, Barry, Dickerson, Tiki, Campbell, Chris Johnson, and our NFL running back is Terrell Davis. Damn, man. I just got cocked. All right, whatever. I'm a casual. You heard it here first. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.